as uh, I think that they know what they're going to pick and just taking the time now to get ready. Hand over heart. They're ready for what could be the last game in this tournament for either of these teams. For Liquid, it could be the last game of that man's career. He's, he's liking what he's seeing. Uh, are they kissing? Okay, I can't tell. Um, it's just a handshake. They're feeling it. They're trying to get the crowd on their side. They're ready. He's doing it for you. Scepter, uh, yeah. not as good as it used to be, but still very strong. Oh, TV. debatable. Might be better. Say, yeah. Well, he's dead. Can they find anything after, though? Resolution in some trouble as Boxy moves in. So they use the roar to kill off the Undying, but they get punished pretty heavily on the other side of that. They well, see something new every time at this TI. And, oh, and behind the red split. Uh, they do not have a Laguna Blade. I don't know how it happened, but it's not there. It turns out they don't need it. Nisha goes down. Oh, my goodness. He's hanging out, Who man. Who is this man? And moving in from behind. Zayat's there. They don't have Bruce Blade anymore. But the Echo! Oh, but the Snowball save. Can they get him out after? Mickey's got to run, but Puppy's there for the slow. LSA connects on a two. Sunstrike out. It is going to be enough with the hits from Chrysalis. Oh, and Sania. He did not know whether he should come in here. He thought about backing up, and he's like, I'll throw a tombstone. able to do something. But I think in the end, he knew. That oh, I can't get it. Oh, but look. The chase. <laughs> it's there. Rezo thinks it's all good and well, but the chase, they catch him. Stone, couple more punches. The creep buying some extra time. The, well, Chitone doesn't do anything with that echo to get away from him. Tombstone down. Chrysalis is there, though, and that's going to be enough to kill off Boxy. Insania has to run, but Mickey, he's got a DD. Moves in, finds science, gets that kill. Now Puppy trying to get out of there. They have to lift up on Anisha, drops the meatball, but it's not enough. Nisha in trouble. Couple more hits. He dies. Zai on a killing spree as they look for Puppy, but Chrysalis wants to move forward. Insania trying to take up a bunch of those hits as he can, and Mickey gets the double kill. That's four already dead. Zai on top of Chrysalis, hits the stun. Mickey there. Mickey wants the kill. They're diving behind the tower. Resolution, he's back in. Have they gone too far? Liquid in, very deep. Another TP in. Zai is back alive. Mickey hopes to escape, but there will possibly be an escape. No. He's had to be sacrificed as we get into another battle. And Nisha found Lifestealer right on top. Didn't stand a chance. And they get there in time. They tried, but they will not succeed. And Zai now there to slow him down. The Enchant to back away. Still have to be careful about running up high ground into no vision. And Insania, he's going to get punished for the hubris. You can actually do it constantly. Walks up the hill. Aegis about to expire. This fight could get a little bit dicey here if they're not careful. You Silence right out, out in trouble. He's gone. Meanwhile, Boxy jumps in. Matumba Man right on top now. Chrysalis, who gets force sapped off of the cliff. In that separation, LSA spots the ward. They need to take that down, so no more vision. But the stun, the control, it's on to both of Mickey gets the BKB off. Matumba Man turns. No infest to get him out, but they find Nietzsche. Couple more hits. They bring him low, but can they bring him down? No! Nietzsche, he survives. Insania gone. Secret strike back in the biggest way. Zayat's the one-trick pony guy. And then suddenly, as we saw in that content piece, you know, he gets the call up, and he is absolutely taken over. And the last bit, Walrus Punch, the Tumba Man gonna get stunned in the duration of the rage, the roll, the chase, Puppy gone. Meanwhile, Chrysalis on the low ground, but Zayat there again with a stun onto everybody. Here comes it's the split. only to disengage, though. They gotta run. Secret, trying to get out of there. The BKB, he can't do anything to that one. Chase down, look for more. Rezo in trouble, the lift up. They gotta let him go. They're gonna go for more and more and more. Liquid trying to chase, Rezo gone. And on the back lines, they take down Chrysalis to boot. Spots out, a oh, lot of Liquid. Like the one. jump. They got vision, and then have to run away immediately. Boxy is already gone. Mickey finds another. Rezo dead. Chrysalis, the one left behind. Nisha also trying to escape. They decide to turn their sights onto Puppy. So again, there's no secondary play here. There's no PKP for that Drown Ranger, but now they're going to go for the wraparound play here from the side. Will they be able to take this fight? Puppy wants to run in. Chrysalis is there too. Roche down about a third the HP. There, they're still sticking around. Zayas blinks. He gets the stun, but the interrupt. Where's the follow-up damage? It's not there. Chrysalis, though. He Boxy, he kept him out of that fight that entire time, trying to clean up and get this Aegis. It's actually the Radiant that gets the kill. But Nisha he down low. In. He gets out. Can he escape from this one? Chrysalis hitting in the backside. They Take down the Tumble Man. Mickey wants to find a kill, but the dodge! Nisha gets away! Are you kidding me? He gets away from them! Aegis is still on Mickey, but with no BKB, he's gotta get out. TP's away.
if Zayats finds somebody here, this could be a huge burst of damage, but it does look like Liquid recognizing oh, the oh, danger. Oh, oh. Mickey, he gets caught! BKB, it's not coming out! Mickey is going to drop, that's Aegis. One life, can they do another one? Rezo is there, he has the roar available, gets interrupted, gets caught, the sun strike out, it's not enough damage quite yet. Mickey, four staff away, get out of there! Zayats tries to control afterwards, can they bring him down in time? Mickey in trouble, gets oh, invested! Yeah. The save again! The tornado lift up on the both of them though. Mickey, he's been living through so long, so much, and he's actually gonna do it again! Mickey finally gets brought down by Puppy. The alacrity, the damage, but Tumba Man, they want to bring down Chrysalis. A couple more punches, but all these four steps, it's the bane of Liquid. They don't have a way to get him out, but Tumba Man to fall. Sai needs to clean up. He's got to get a couple more of Chrysalis. He gets up to the high ground. Insania brought down as well. The little turret that could. Oh my god. That dude. was an insane. He did the most damage in the last fight. All he did was click. <laughs> so many rounds of it. And Puppy, he found him again. Puppy does not want to be denied. Chrysalis, a couple more hits. This man, he's a lot of evasion. A lot of evasion. Does have a blink away from Zai. Needs to hunt, needs to escape, but Zaya, he says no! Good vision, look at that ward there. That one is giving all the info that they need. Matumba Man, hit, can they blow him up? Oh, the reaction! Gets him out of harm's way just in time, and well, the roar, the chase, needs to get out of there, save! Boxy, get him out, can they do it? No! The best came too late! Mickey can't stop this train either! Disarmed, running away, Nisha there with the ice wall, tries to shard, but no! Boxy 2 will fall. He hit him with the ice fire bomb. This game is going to be so hard for Liquid to pull back at this point. They've got the raid pack, but they find one. Does have the AM, this needs to pop the ulti if he wants to get out of there. Now too much more trouble. Walrus Punch finds the back line, trying to bring down one. Resolution in some trouble, hit from downtown. Mickey finds another, but there it is, Science! He stops him again, the buybacks come out immediately. But Tumbo Man, nowhere left. He's gone for 70! Sacred! They see the Grand Finals in their sights! They want to claim this here now! Put this game to bed! The snowball is in, has to blink out on Boxy. Is there anything they got in control? Zayat's on top, he's been there time and again. Misses the Sun Strike, actually. Blinks, though. But the chase is there, and Boxy 2 will fall! None of these heroes up secret, wanting to close this game out now! Objective gamers in the top lane, Chrysalis and Puppy. Taking down the buildings, walking towards tier fours even. They setting it up, Chrysalis, the alacrity is there, tier four towers starting to drop. Does the dream run end now? Mickey, four step away, keeping themselves alive. That's Secret. a big jump. They're low on resources on Secret right now. It's deadly. Oh, but look at that damage. This moment when he sends oh, the victory, the Ancients exposed. Do they have enough left in the tank? Liquid, they want to survive, blows up science, but do they have any more? The Ancient is falling, and with that, Secret are going to eliminate Liquid. They're going to the Grand Finals. They came down from that upper bracket for one series, and they're going right back up. They want that Grand Final chance once more. They want that best of five. And a team, two teams from that last chance qualifier. Truly unbelievable to find them here on the stage. But only one can remain here. Unbelievable. That's the beauty of competition. There are times where it could be so good and times where you, the jubilation of that team. Unbelievable performance. Team Secret, they move on. to Team Secret here winning and securing their space in the Grand Finals. Hugs all around for different reasons, of course, because with every victory there has to be a losing team as well. But I know that there is a lot of love on that stage at the moment. I also slightly biased, want to give a shout out to the first ever Dutch Dota 2 player taking a place in the Grand Finals. Crystalis, of course, first-timer here at TI and taking his space next to other two first-timers, Skeeter and Nine. So that is uh, some well-deserved praise there. This game was crazy, though. It was absolutely mental. I think that fight that we saw in the top lane, Effie, that's the one that's going to be etched in our memories for a long time. So many fights <laughs> yeah. that were just so good. I mean, I, I, can't even, I don't even know what to say. Every year, Poppy just goes up one placement in TI, like, it's not 
it's some pattern. It's just the truth of Dota. This is the truth of Dota. Every year, he will level up yep. with this and team. The way, <laughs> the way he won this game on Enchanters, like, he's like, I'm the carry right now, taking the Grobo from his Drow Ranger. <laughs> and, and look at this, man. The, stats the over heal. He <laughs> went yeah, stats, stats on over heal. And we see it all the time. We the see greatest. He was feeling himself. Yeah. We see it in these game threes. These games where you could get eliminated or you could go forward. The comfort picks come up. But where do they usually come out of, right? They either come out